this idea of post-traumatic growth for some reason has really just been like hitting like in my physical body in this really supportive way and i'm i'm so i don't know a lot about it i'm really curious um like you know kirsten what you think about it kate if you've heard about it mm -hmm. um because i do feel like it, it's something that maybe people need to hear about right now that like this is an awful time but there's something like growing and changing um inside of us as it's happening i've never heard that term but what i'm taking from you is that it's it's literally like um one who's evolving from trauma mm. and, and growing from that difficult or challenging experience but that's that's my guess because i don't know <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think that's exactly right. And it's something that I'm glad you brought up the concept because we, people like me, we neglect it sometimes because in the one thing about the biomedical model is that we tend to focus on the uh, illness and, and the sort of bad stuff, but we don't, we're not so good at studying growth, resilience, sort of positive or, and it can come out, or it can come off as sort of hokey, like, um, but it is the idea that out of trauma, um and pain come come there can be positive outcomes or the sort of positive changes people make and there have there's a whole area of post-traumatic post growth research there's scales that people use and trying to measure this and um one thing that i found really interesting is that when people measure post-traumatic growth it it doesn't seem like people people will show high post-traumatic growth and they still may have depression, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's not like the it's not like if you grow, you're not gonna feel bad or you're not gonna feel any pain. It's more like you can feel the two together. And that kind of that's always resonated with me because certainly the most some of the most painful experiences of my life, when I look back, I will see a lot of growth, but it didn't come without a lot of pain, pain and challenge. Um, and it sort of makes me think about, I guess I feel like Eric is the hope giver today because when I think about also all the things we're experiencing as a country, maybe the hope is that there is so much pain that is coming to light that people are feeling um, ability to express now or the opportunity to express. But out of that, there will be one hopes growth and change. Um, so I think that is a really powerful concept right now that people should hear about.